I was thinking about ideas for videos that I can shoot and I was always like, oh man, I should do a day in the life video. You know, a lot of people do them, they get a lot of views and maybe it'd be cool to show what I do all day. And then I really started to think about it. Like, what do I do all day that's so exciting to make a video on? Uh, software development, honestly, while it's a great job, it's pretty boring. Now, I used to work jobs that were cool and exciting. I worked at nightclubs on the Las Vegas Strip. I parked cars at one of the busiest strip clubs in the world. And I've had exciting jobs that, you know, occasionally you'd see a celebrity and you were surrounded by beautiful people and there was drunk idiots and people would get into fights. And honestly, work was fun. And when I got my first dev job, I was super excited. I didn't get a job at Google, I didn't get a job at Twitter or any of the fan companies, but I did get a job at a Fortune 500 company and they treated us like crap. And the job wasn't that great. We had very outdated hardware. We were confined to a very small room when I first started there. There was nine developers in, a, in an office that was meant for one executive. And we had a great team of developers, but the corporate atmosphere and the pressure that management put on us were things that I never expected because every video that I saw on YouTube said that it was all gonna be rainbows and butterflies. And it wasn't the case for my first job. And that's what a lot of those videos leave out. And that's why I felt that I shouldn't make another video with eight minutes of B-roll of me getting out of bed and putting on my shoes and going to the gym and cooking my breakfast and skateboarding to work. Because that's why those videos are like that. They have a bunch of B-roll and then a very small portion of it is usually coding and actual work. And a day in the life of a software engineer is this. You're gonna go to work, you're gonna sit at a computer for about eight to nine hours. Occasionally, you might have meetings, they may be remote and you can call in, or you may actually have to go to a meeting. Nowadays, everything's remote. But that's it. Some days you're gonna have more meetings than others. Some days you're gonna be stuck on problems that are gonna drive you crazy and make you question why you decided to take this up as a career and wish that you can go back to when things were just easier for you. And that's just something that I want to kind of like keep it real and let my viewers know that it's not gonna be how those day in the life videos are. It just, just trust me. You know, you may get lucky and land the job at a place that has that kind of work culture, but Keep in mind that many of those places that have that kind of work culture where they try to trap you in the office or the campus where they offer all these great things like free food and, you know, free bicycles and skateboards and segways and whatever other funny, weird mode of transportation people use to get around the office and the campus. And they offer all these things because they want to keep you there longer because if you don't feel like you're at work, you're gonna stay at work longer. And that's why I, sometimes they'll have beer in the break room and you know catered lunches and all these different things because they don't want you to leave. So they kind of set up an atmosphere that keeps you at work all day. And to romanticize that and try to drag out a video to try to get a million views, I felt like I was gonna do it, but I felt like I was selling out. And then I almost thought about making a parody video of it to kind of like poke fun at all those videos that are out there because hey, maybe I could tap into YouTube's algorithm if I do put a day in the life of a software developer in the title or something like that, who knows, right? And I'm not a negative person and I don't mean to go on a rant. If you've been on my channel before and you've seen some of my videos, you'll know that I'm usually pretty positive and I wanna give good motivation to people who are learning how to code, but I feel like in this case, I just gotta keep it real. So whoever stumbles upon this video that was trying to look for a day in the life, I'm sorry that I didn't, you know, show you me walking around my house drinking coffee and cooking a crappy breakfast. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of insight that what you see on those videos, it's a little bit of smoke and mirrors. You're gonna have bad days, you're gonna have good days. Don't watch videos that people purposely make to just highlight the good days. They're trying to build YouTube channels, they're trying to get subscribers, just like I am. I'm not saying I'm not doing that, but I'm saying that that's, that's what those videos feed into. They feed into people who are interested in learning how to code and really want to get a job and they see that and they really, really think that that's how it's going to be. And honestly, being a software developer is a hard job. It is a painful journey, especially if you're self-taught. It's 
tough when you get your first job. It's hard after a few years. You're learning every day, which is one of the best things about it. But remember, you're learning every day. So when you're learning, there's going to be a lot of times when you feel dumb and you feel like you don't know things and it's going to suck. And then you're going to have pressure with deadlines and things that need to get done. And then bugs pop up in code that you submitted a month ago. And now you have to go back and fix your bugs that you introduced. They got you know missed with code review or you just did something wrong because it happens. There's always going to be bugs in code, but there's a lot of stuff that those videos don't show in that time lapse when they're saying, here's me getting some actual coding work done. And the rest of the video is them working out and making breakfast and skating around on a skateboard or a Segway or a scooter or whatever. You get what I'm, I'm saying. Just take it with a grain of salt. You know, don't trust everything you see. YouTube is a lot of Hollywood smoke and mirror stuff, and it's not always the way it seems. So just remember that if you're learning how to code and you're really, you know, excited to get that first job, it may not be what you're seeing in these YouTube videos. But that doesn't mean it's going to be bad. That doesn't mean that it's going to suck. It's honestly probably going to be a great job, even though my first job had its ups and downs, and there were moments when I really didn't like working there. I learned a lot. I made some good friends. I, I got to have a mentor that taught me a lot and it helped pave the way for me to get my second job, which pays more and is more in line with the direction that I want to take my career. And all those things were really good about getting that first developer job. But I didn't have catered lunches and I didn't have a cool desk with beer in the break room. And I we didn't have video games and all this other cool stuff. As a matter of fact, every time we tried to do fun things like that, our corporate bosses kind of shut it down and wanted us to work more and play less. So remember, not every place is gonna be like that when you get a job as a software developer. So your day in the life as a software engineer, when you start coding, might not be the same day in the life that you're seeing on YouTube in all of these videos that, that people make. So just keep that in mind, but it's not all bad. Keep learning how to code, keep, keep working at it, keep chipping away at it. All right, with all that said, Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some more of my content on learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.